In this short tutorial, I want to show you uh, how you can use the Eve Explode plugin, which is a really small and uh, useful plugin you can use. And as you can see, I can move these boxes uh, based on a point, which I will explain further. So this uh, uh, plugin, Eve Explode, only works on Rhino 5. So you can also download this plugin plus Rhino 5 if you want and check it out. So first of all, for installing this plugin, after you download this file, the RHP file, Rhino plugin, you can just simply put it this in a folder in your computer and drag this into your compute, into your Rhino interface, and you can see that the uh, Rhino will say that it, it has been loaded. But for Rhino 6, I think that it will not work, for, so be sure to have Rhino 5. Uh, the most important thing about the Eve Explode that it, uh, it is that it moves things based on a point. So let's just make a simple example here. I'm going to draw a box, okay, and let's use an array of uh, maybe 10 to 10 to 10 and with a spacing of the box and the height of the box and make these uh, array of boxes uh, like this. So what I'm going to do is to type Eve Explode. Uh, you can also make uh, and make an icon for this. So let's just do this. You can right click here and go to the new button and just paste this command into the left mouse button, right mouse button, and uh, we can also give this an image. And I have put a uh, uh, image for that icon so you can also download this from the zip file and point to that let's just say an ok and that's it so you can just hit the ok and you can see that there is an eve explode button here which we can click and run the eve explode whenever we want so let's just uh, first enter the select object thing and we can select all of this and then right click or enter and you can see that there is 1000 boxes selected okay and as you can see that we can change the center so let's just put this center here and see the results and just move this slider and you can see that these boxes will move okay and let's just change the center on the center of this box maybe and you can see that we can produce uh, produce the results. So you can just change the location of the objects and, the, and then just say close keep results and just say close and you can see that those objects uh, have just changed. So you can always use that Eve Explode to just explode things. So let's just have another example. I have a simple box and I'm going to use cut plane to just start cutting this and random directions okay and then let's just go to the front and again choose this box and use the cut plane command again and let's just have another cut plane it doesn't really matter i want to show you that you can use this to uh, just explode those things okay we just and then we choose all of these uh solids and surfaces and then we can go to the uh here and choose the create solid tool and so we just create a solid and then you can see that we can create solids based on those cut planes and if you just use the eve explode let me just give you the change center and you can see that this is not really going, going to work on those uh, solids that are not uh, regular things. So what I want to do is to just make this uh, Eve explode in Grasshopper so you can understand how we can simply do that in Grasshopper. We can simply open the Grasshopper interface and let's just go to the params and input that as a BREP, set multiple BREPs and let's just turn them off okay uh, we can simply move them 
uh, based on a point attractor. So let's just give this, okay, let me just put the bifocals plug in here and let's just put this as a one point. And here's the point. So we want to make vectors based on this point towards the centroids of those solids. So what we can do is to go and go to the surface, use the volume or uh, volume centroid of that solids. Okay, here we have the centroids. Then we can go to the vector section and use the vector to point. Here we go. Point A is the point attractor and point B will be the centroids. Okay, so if I give this to the motion, and let's just turn everything off. Uh, but let's just turn on the point. You can see that this will just move that uh, based on the point attractor. We can also multiply that. So let's just go to the math, multiplication, and give this a number between 0 and 1. And it can be more than 1, but let's just check this out. 0 0.25 to maybe 3.5. And if I give this to the motion, uh, you can see that I can start from zero. Let's just start from zero. And you can start from zero, so this will not move uh, till that you just move that back. Okay, so this can also be something like the Eve Explode tool. And you can see that I can move this point tractor and just move them based on this. Point. So uh, this is how you can model the Eve explode. So just let's give this uh, material something so you can see the results. So here it is. You can also use the Eve explode if you want to use uh, regular solids or uh, you have uh, solids based on the intersection you have here. Uh, especially for, let me just show you for the uh, last example. Let's go to the mesh and go to the Voronoi 3D. So let's just see the name Voronoi 3D. And let's just give this a box. I want to give you this a box. It will work with uh, Eve Explode greatly. So let's just see that. Uh, and let's use the pop geometry tool and give this maybe 80 points. Give that to the points. And here we have the cells. So let's just bake that. And these are the Voronoi cells. So if we just say Eve Explode, select the objects, and move this, you can see that this will just open up the cells. That is great for Voronoi cells. Uh, another thing you can use is to change the distance. So maybe you want to decrease that to 30 meters. So you can see that this will just change this a little bit less and let's just increase that to 300 you can see that this will start from zero and go to 300 so this is the way you can use uh, the eve explode uh, plugin and thank you for watching comment on our, our video subscribe to our channel and give us your ideas about this plugin what do you think about it and thank you for watching